guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts. Welcome back to my channel. I took a little bit of a break for August um, because I have a lot more videos coming on the way. I just went to Europe for the first time and I'll tell you a little bit about that. But most importantly, this video, I am partnering up with one of my favorite makeup lines of all time and it's Makeup Forever. And they sent me their new line of liquid lipsticks. It's a 24 hour liquid lipsticks and it is absolutely unbeatable. If you try it, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's truly amazing. So their 24 hour liquid lipsticks, they sent me 10 of them. Um, there's five different shades of mauve, five different shades of a red. Um, they look great at every skin tone. They're high pigmented, they're comfortable, they're lightweight. They don't, they don't transfer and they stay for 24 hours. It's wild. But out of the 10 shades, I chose three that I'm gonna show you. And yeah, I feel like you guys are really gonna like it. So I'm gonna start off by showing you very briefly on like how I built the base of this entire look. And I'll tell you a little bit about my trip to Europe. And then I'm gonna show you the different shades from the line and yeah. Oh my God, I just started filming and I put all this foundation on and I wasn't recording, so. Let's try this again. I'm gonna tell you guys about my trip to Europe. I've never been to Europe. I hate admitting that, but I finally went and I went with my boyfriend and I love Europe. So first we went to France. We stayed in Saint Germain and we met up with one of our buddies out there and he knew a couple people or a bunch of people in France. So we all hung out, we went shopping, we went to dinner, we went out, we had a grand old time. Almost two grand, I exhausted myself within two nights. <laughs> my skin on my whole body is just freaking out. Ugh, I gotta get back to neutral. So I spent three nights in France, wonderful time. And then after three nights, we went to Greece and we stayed in Mykonos. I love Greece. I love everything was so good. Like all the food, all the people were so nice, so sweet, so cool. We had so much fun. The resort was beautiful. It definitely was very special. So we stayed five nights in Greece. My boyfriend has been to Paris, but he hasn't been to Greece. So it was kind of fun to see a place that we both haven't been at before. I'm trying to make sure I don't look like, a, make myself look like a clown while I'm telling this story. <laughs> so we were in Greece for five nights. Greece was such a good time. We went on boats. We went to some day parties, beach parties, some night parties. It was, so much fun. If you guys go to Mykonos, I definitely highly recommend going to Scorpios. That was great. I'm putting a little bit of more coverage than I usually would. But anyways, so Greece was amazing. After Greece, we went to Italy and I stopped in Rome for a bit and then we went to um, Naples. We went to Amalfi Coast and Amalfi Coast is Definitely number one or top two most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. We stayed at a hotel that was over 100 years old. It was so gorgeous. I haven't posted. Posting and all that stuff. So I haven't posted anything yet, but I'm about to. And oh my gosh. This hotel we stayed at was just so gorgeous. So that was definitely a moment. I never wanted to leave, ever, ever, ever. My boyfriend just filmed, um, a, well, actually a couple months ago, but he filmed a reality show that they just announced now so I can talk about it, but it is like a really intense challenge show. It's called the SAS, but anyways, my whole point is, is that one of his castmates 
was in Amalfi Coast. And his buddy had this like crazy yacht, so we stayed on there or visited there. And it was very beautiful. Definitely something to see. I had some dinner and wine with some great people that we met there. I did a bunch of Christmas shopping. And uh, I've been continuously tired since I got back. And I feel like my makeup looks like shit right now. So Amalfi Coast was absolutely, I mean, it was just such a magical moment. I never wanted to leave, but our flight home was a nightmare. It took two full days to get home. So I'll tell you about that. So we had a flight at 9 a.m. We get to the airport. Everything is fine. I was one of the first people on the plane. Took my melatonin, put my hat on, eye mask, passed out. I woke up, thought we were in the air, and we were still sitting on the runway and it's been three hours. Three more hours go by, we haven't even left the runway. Sat on a plane for about six hours straight just for them to finally tell us that we won't be flying that day. <laughs> so we had to get off the plane, wait another over an hour for our bags. We got a hotel somewhere near the airport kind of, but as nice as we can find by the airport. And it just so happened to be a huge soccer game going on. So traffic was absolutely at standstill, not moving at all. I was exhausted. So we had to wait for our flight for the next day, hoping that it goes through. Next day we get to the airport. Everything for the most part was fine. We got on the plane, we took off, and then we had a layover in Newark and we didn't realize that we flew United and United booked our connecting flight 20 minutes after we landed and we had to go through customs and had to recheck our bags. So as we're waiting for our bags, the fire alarm goes off and they tell us that they don't know why the fire alarm went off. So So we're on the phone with United, trying to figure out how, how we can get home. They book us on a flight like four hours after the initial time that we were supposed to go. Our bags finally come. I'm home alone right now and I just heard something downstairs. Hold on. Okay. So we, we get our bags, we check them. We're good to go, ready for our next flight. We had to fly. So I live with my boyfriend in Austin and we had to fly to Houston because my boyfriend's dad lives in Houston and he was watching our puppy. So we had to fly four hours from there then, got to Houston, almost couldn't find our car <laughs> and picked up our puppy and then drove another three hours to Austin, back home. It was quite a travel experience. But overall, the trip was so beautiful. I love Europe. I think it's so cool to just be anywhere and there's just so many people speaking different languages. I had <laughs> something I'm so glad that I had. It was really nice having it. Um, there is an app, so if you are traveling outside your country and there is any language barriers, there's an app called Translate. And not only did I have some people talk into it and it translates what they're saying to me, I could also like look at a menu and hold the camera up on the app and it will change the words to England English. It was really clutch. Very, very cool to have. I'm gonna add some lashes just on the outer corners. I hope it's not too much. Do we like it? Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. Okay, so I just did some lashes and I feel like for the most part, maybe I'm done, but I'm not. 
maybe a little more blush. Every time it looks cute in person, it looks crazy on camera, so I'm trying not to f this up. So, that's how I did the base. Oh, you know what? You know what? I might add a little freckles. I've been kind of loving freckles lately. I'm so kind of new to the freckle game. I used to never think that I would look cute with freckles, but I have done it a few times lately, and I do like them, but it's still a hit or miss for me because I don't know how to do it quite right yet. Why did I start doing this? They look more like blackheads. Oh, okay, that's what I was doing. Does that look cute or does it look like what the hell did I just do? It looks really cute. Looks cute. We're leaving it. Okay, so that is what I did for the base of the face. So now I'm going to show you how amazing these liquid lipsticks and lip liners are, genuinely. Like, holy shit. Okay, so they sent 10 different colors. I am gonna choose three of them that I feel like you guys really like and you guys can see like a range in the colors. Okay, so I'm going to start off with their lip liner in, in 604 Up and Down Tan. It glides on perfectly. And it's so pigmented. I have their other one which is wherever wherever walnut, see just in general. So now the star of the show, which is their liquid lipstick, and this is in 190 Always Natural. And I love this applicator, I've never seen it before. And it's just so beautiful. And it smells gorgeous, like it smells like this beautiful perfume and a little goes a long way like I'm trying not to use all of it because as you can see the littlest bit goes so far but it is just so beautiful I love the smell oh my gosh the smell is unbelievable <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna take some of the lip liner since it's a little like darker and I'm gonna do a little bit of an ombre. I think it looks really pretty. God. How beautiful is this? And like the one thing about liquid lipsticks, it feels like a lot of times it feels like a thick paint on your lips and it doesn't feel like there's all this crap on your lips. Like it's really light. It feels like nothing. Um, pigments fantastic as you can see. I love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is look number one. Okay, so I tried getting that off. I'm going to now do the second mauve. I'm gonna take the same lip liner in up and down tan. I'm gonna line my lips again. By the way, I'm getting a freckle on my lip. <laughs> right there. I kinda like it. Okay. So I got the lip liner on, and now I'm gonna go in with Immortal Rosewood in 194. And I was really tempted on using like two colors at once, but I'm gonna try to show you one full color. And because this is like slanted, the tip of it is like really great to like get real sharp in the other corners. I can't get over how good this smells. Like it smells like a perfume I want to wear all the time. So I want to know the scent so I can like literally get the perfume. Like that's one thing that this is. It's definitely like luxe. 
like wow this the texture is so thin and so light and it's so pigmented so and it smells so good so make it make sense i don't know how but i'm in love with this just for fun i want to add in the color i just used before in the middle so i use the first color i use and then i use the second one i kind of put it in the middle and they blend beautifully together they knock this one out of the park okay i'm gonna show you the red one i love love a good red lipstick and especially with red i do like if i can find a really good liquid lipstick for it because i want it to stay <laughs> obviously and sometimes like really creamier reds will start smearing they will get my teeth and it'll start kind of being a mess so finding a really really good liquid lipstick is clutch for a really really vibrant look okay so first i'm going to line my lips with their amazing lip liners in either cherry from 712 i love their matte lip liners and there's like 39 shades and I believe these are like $22. But damn, like. So pigmented, matte, and they blend fabulously. Okay, I got lip liner. So now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick in 402, constantly on fire. And again, I'm just in love with this applicator. Like, look at that. I'm barely even doing anything and it is just like, oh, this is like perfectly beautiful pigment. And they're, they are the only company that has this applicator, which is pretty fire. How beautiful is that? They have, they sent me five different shades of red. It was really hard to decide. I chose this one. And it is just unbelievable. And again, it's so pigmented, but it doesn't feel like I have so much like on my lips. And the story I wanted to say, so yesterday I was testing them out and I went to take a really quick nap because I still have like jet lag. I'm like still trying to get like back into the sleeping pattern of being home. And I took a nap and slept four hours crazy sleep had this red lipstick on and didn't budge at all my face on the pillow everything didn't budge at all so that was my personal experience on how amazing and long lasting this stuff really is and look i'm telling you like it's incredible highly recommend so yeah okay thank you guys for watching and listening to like my little story about europe working with makeup forever is definitely awesome for me i love makeup forever so it's really cool to do a partnership with them have a ton and a ton of more videos coming i took like a little bit of a break august was a break for me but get ready and halloween's coming up so I got some really cool ideas. If you guys have any ideas of something that you guys would like to see from me, let me know. Any Halloween decoration, uh, Halloween costume ideas or anything, really. Just, just let me know. Just let me know. All right, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Do the inner work. And I will see you guys again. Bye.